everyone. This is Brittany with Tennessee National Wildlife Refuge again, and I'm bringing you another daily activity you can do with your kids. So how many of you have ever, you know, wandered around in your backyard or gone to a park? Maybe you've been hiking and well, you just didn't see much sign of wildlife out there. Well, take a bit of a closer look because animals leave behind signs all the time. Maybe there's a bird's nest up in the tree or in a shrub low on the ground. Or maybe there's chewed up acorns. Or maybe you come across a chewed up stick, like this one. And this stick was chewed up by a beaver. Another sign you might come across is animal droppings, like this scat here. On the left, we have the little deer scat. And on the right, we have raccoon scat. But today, we're gonna focus on animal tracks. So I'm still working from home and I've got a water and hole back here. And we have wildlife visitors all the time. So we're gonna go down here in a second and go take a look at one of the visitors I've had recently. And we're gonna learn their story. And I want you, when you go looking for animal tracks, to figure out the story of that animal that was there. Was it getting a drink of water? Was there a scuffle between two different critters? Um, maybe there's a deer rub on a tree and there's a track below. So the different tracks tell different stories. But also, we're gonna learn how to make a mold of these tracks. So let's go down and take a look. All right, so this is my recent visitor. Anybody have any guesses what it might be? If you said white-tailed deer, ding, 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 you are correct. Okay, so let's dive on in to how to make this mold. So I've got a couple things here. One, I've got a piece of cardboard. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna place this around your track, just like that. And then I have some store-bought plaster, but uh, I've read that you can make your own plaster from home. I don't know how well it works, um, but I'll leave that in the comment section on how you can make your own plaster. So for this one, it's two parts plaster and one part water. So I'm just gonna do about a half a cup of plaster. And a fourth of a cup of water. Now I've got me a popsicle stick. And I'm gonna slowly start pouring this plaster and this water into the plaster. And if you realize as you go that yours doesn't look like pancake batter, you need to add a little more water. But mine looks like the perfect consistency. Stir it up really good. And then I'm gonna pour it just like that, and then. Smooth it out. And then I will leave this to sit for, no, oh, maybe an hour, maybe two. Make sure it's really set up really well. And then I'll come back and I'll check okay, it. Okay, everyone. So it's been about an hour and 15 minutes um, and the mold looks pretty dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and let's see how it worked out. Mm. 
I'm going to wiggle it a little bit, loosen it up. And there you go. There is my deer track. All right, well now that we're done with our mold, let's talk a little bit about how you're gonna identify the track that you find. So there's gonna be lots of resources out there and I'll be sharing some of those uh, on this post. And things that they're gonna show, you know, they'll have pictures available for you. They're gonna talk about how wide or how long that track is. They're gonna talk about the length between each track. Um, so there's those kinds of things. Uh, if you're trying to figure out, you know, if it's a possum or a raccoon, your raccoon is going to have that hand-like shape, and you're, so you're going to see that thumb, and they're going to have those claws. Whereas a possum on the hind leg, that back thumb type thing, is um, not going to have a claw on it. Or if you're trying to figure out the difference between a bobcat and a, coy uh, a coyote. Um, your coyote is going to have claw marks all the time be and your bobcat is not because they have retractable claws. So there's going to be lots of resources like that out there. And let's talk about the story behind the track. So this deer track that I found was right here by a watering hole. So pretty, pretty easy to assume and come up with a story that this deer came down here to get some water. But you try and figure out what your track story means. So I hope this was fun and I hope you really enjoyed this activity. Uh, don't forget I will share with you uh, how to make your own plaster. I'm not sure how well it works, but give it a try. Let me know how it works. See everyone.